Welcome back, bitches. As you may or may not know from recent, I know for sure, because I'm really excited, but you probably don't know. I hit 300 subscribers on YouTube, and I am incredibly grateful for that. And I put out a poll like a few weeks ago saying, when I hit a 300 subscribers, what do you want to see from me? And the two answers that tied was me getting a real chai latte and me baking a cake. Now, I have good news. Usually, me getting a real chai latte consists of going out to a place and buying a chai latte. I'm here to tell you that I can now make a pretty good chai latte at home. I have perfected it, and I am here to show you now. Here are my two ingredients. Oh, wait, let me... All right, first up, we have organ chai. This is just like the only carton my local Walmart has. So that's what I bought. And I just, yeah. Pour that on in there to be like, I don't know, a good amount. Take my milk, open it, fill it up the rest of the amount. And it is 9 a.m., which is way later in the day for me than most days, but I, for some reason, am exhausted this morning and can barely keep my eyes open. So just bear with me. Oh, that's so good. So perfect. And just like that, step one, done. Step two, bacon and cake. I opted for this Actually, you know what? No free sponsorships of products. But if it's free, it's not a sponsorship. No free promotion of a product. I got the super moist cake mix, chocolate fudge cake, which I think is gonna be delicious. And then I have chocolate frosting and decorating frosting, obviously, to draw on my cake. So first off, we have to heat the oven. So let me do that quickly. All right, perfect, that's gonna warm up. Next up, I have to figure out what I want to cook this in. I think I want to use these two round or squares I have, except this is not clean. Obviously, I just pulled this out of the dishwasher. So let me also clean this quickly. I'm just thinking that if I cook it in this bitch, I can like stack it, you know, and have like a tiered cake. That would be pretty swag. All right, grease bottom of the pans. I think, oh my gosh, actually, this is probably what I have to use for baking, right, pan? I don't know. Let me take these to the sink. And hopefully that's lubed up enough. All right. Next step, mix cake mix, water, oil, and eggs in large bowl with mixer on medium speed or beat vigorously by hand for two minutes. Pour in a pan. I'm gonna do the eggs first. I don't have a mix. Oh, fuck. I don't have a mixer, so I am gonna have to do this by hand, which is annoying because two minutes is always a really short time unless you're beating cake mix as it says, beat vigorously. Then two minutes becomes a struggle. Ooh. Oh no, oh my God. I got eggshells in here. How do you get eggshells out? What's, what's like a good way to do that? Okay, one, two. I'm probably only gonna have like one slice of this cake and then I'm gonna bring it over to my friends. So I need to at least try for this to be edible, right? I mean, how bad can I fuck this up? It's just boxed cake mix. Half a cup of vegetable oil. Does this shit expire? Not until 2025, so we're good. Focusing. Half a cup of vegetable oil, yes. I, don't, I really wanna make sure I don't fuck this up. One cup of water. I think we just add the cake mix. Oh my gosh, look, box tops. Did you guys at schools have those? We would collect them all year. And then come Christmas time, there would be like a little, I don't even remember what it was called, but they basically, you could go buy gifts for your family using like your box tops money that you brought in throughout the year. And my grandma was like a hard ass about collecting box top labels. I don't know what my scissors are. So I could always, you know, get gifts for people. So, oh, oh, whoopsies. Anyways, moral of the story, box tops were taken pretty seriously in my house. End of story. That looks ugly. Now I am in fact gonna have to beat this vigorously for two minutes. So I need to start a timer. All right, ready, set, 
Yeah. Oh, it looks like nothing's happening. Why isn't it not incorporating? Oh my God, it smells so fucking good though. Would it be such a crime just for me to eat the cake batter? Yes, Bella, it would be because you're trying to do something here. Follow through. What can we talk about while I'm beating this cake? We can talk about how the fact now that school started, I've lost all my free time that I had from the summer, which is why this is being filmed at 9.30 a.m. I gotta switch arms. I can't do anything with my left arm. It's not skilled enough. Keep mixing, keep mixing. Oh my God, I'm only halfway done. I, this doesn't feel... Uh, oh my God, my arm, it burns. Ow. Ow. I'm gonna... Ow, ow, ow. Come on, for the cake. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Mmm. <sighs> Breakfast. That was vigorously beat for two minutes. So now I'll pour it into the cake pans. I gotta go about halfsies on this, so. Okay, let's do that amount and then switch cake bands. Okay, switch cake bands again. Oh, I wish I had like a spatula, but I don't. Oh good, my oven's heated up. I was a little underprepared in the tools for this, but it'll be okay. This is not the world's most nutritious breakfast, but it is the world's most delicious. All right, both cake pans are ready. So I'm gonna stick these in the oven now. New angle. Oh my God, it's so hot. Okay, I'll see you guys in a half hour. Test to make sure they're fully cooked. That one's good. Nothing on the knife. They are fully cooked. Okay, I'm gonna let these sit here and cool for a second, and then I think we're gonna try to transfer them. Right? I want them to cool first before I take them out of the pan. I, I think that's true. Okay, I got the cakes out of their container, and they're now like on i don't know whatever i'm gonna use to like frost and serve it i'm going to let them continue to cool because they're still like really hot and the icing is just gonna like melt off i think that's like how that works i don't know i'm not uh. so i'm gonna cover them up put them in my fridge and i have to go to work right now so when i get back from work later today we will finish frosting them plating it up I'll try a piece and then, yeah, I bring it over to my friends probably. See you in a few hours. Six hours later. All right, here we go. I am finally back from work, thank God. And it's time to ice the cake. <laughs> this should definitely be cooled enough where it's ready to go. So I'm just gonna, ooh, it's stuck a little. That's okay. Put it down like this, perfect. And then I think I'm gonna ice that and then stack it. That makes sense to everyone? Does that make sense to me? That's the bigger question. Don't think I have enough icing to do like a full cake icing. So I think I'm only gonna ice this middle layer and then the top of it and like leave the edges exposed. That could be kind of cool. Also, I'm gonna like hunch over so no one say anything. Here's what we can talk about while I'm icing. I wanna talk about 
the this past like eight months, nine months, whatever it's been that I've been on YouTube. I feel like I've learned a lot. Hopefully I've gotten better at YouTube. Hopefully you guys all would agree on that. I've changed the way I've done stuff. I'm learning, I'm growing, I'm having fun. I actually had someone yesterday like asked me about YouTube and like why I started posting. And it was like a really good moment of self-reflection. And I think it was a really good moment to have the day before I was going to make this cake to celebrate. I started this YouTube channel specifically because I've actually have always been fascinated with YouTube. I remember the first videos on YouTube I ever watched were Minecraft tutorial videos. So I started pretty heavily on that part, that portion of YouTube, and then it just expanded. One of my first favorite YouTubers was Joe Sugg, if you know, and Zoella. I ate that up when I was younger and there was nothing more I wanted to do than vlog and play video games, which is vlogging this cute little Zoella and playing video games, of course, is Joe. And I fell in love with it. When I was younger, I used to make my sister follow me around with a camera actually and like take videos of me like singing and doing music videos and stuff. And I used to even make, there was a fly on it. I used to make my brother like star in my videos where it's just like, I just wanted to edit and film. It was one of my favorite things. It was a great pastime. I, I had so much fun. I loved it so much. I still love it. And honestly, that's where it's always been with me for YouTube. It's something I've always like loved doing, loved being a part of. And I had a YouTube account again in high school because like I just said 50,000 fucking times, I love YouTube so much. And high school, was not as nice to me as college is now about having a YouTube channel. Everyone in my high school pretty much I feel like knew I had it, which means I had high views, but it was so people would watch my channel and then come to school and then like make fun of me. I remember vividly in band class, actually, people used to watch my videos in front of me and live react for me about like how annoying or whatever it was. So sadly in high school, I stopped filming just out of sheer embarrassment. And I remember my freshman year, I was telling my friends I made in college about YouTube and how I used to do it and how I used to have so much fun. And they asked to like watch my old videos and I showed them some cause they're still on YouTube, just privated. You're not gonna find them, don't look for them. And they were like, Bella, if you like doing it, why don't you keep doing it? And I'm like, I don't know, that's a good question. I didn't do it my freshman year, but I've always thought about it. Sophomore year came around, also always thought about it, never started. Beginning of junior year, I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm only young once. I should probably start a YouTube channel again. Like it's my favorite pastime. It'll give me a hobby to do. Hopefully it'll make me happier. Cause I was like really stressed out because everything I was doing wasn't for me. It was either for school or for like a club or intramural, something like that. Like it wasn't just a hobby that was like just mine. I didn't have that. And I really thought I needed that. So I was like, okay, I'll restart my YouTube. I started with making weekly vlogs. As you may know, if you are an avid watcher and have seen all my stuff, the vlogs back then were are very different than how I film today. I'd say a little bit more boring because I, I did not dedicate myself really that hard to it because it was, I didn't know how long I would be able to keep up with it. Like I'm a pretty determined person. So like I wanted to be able to keep up with it, but I didn't know how much school was going to let me keep up with it. So I didn't start putting that much effort in until this summer. So I think over the school year, I got 20 subscribers over the seven months I was posting. The summer, I had more time to take it seriously. And I was like, okay, I've been posting on YouTube for a while now. Why not put more energy into it and see what I can make of it? And I got like 300 subscribers over the summer, basically, because I'm a little bit over 300 now because it's taken me a while to get the cake ingredients. And that's crazy. Like I just like proved to myself like, okay, if I like put time and effort into something I truly love to do, other people are gonna like, like to do it. And it's a lot of fun. And now I have people who like watch my videos consistently. I like filming, I really like editing. It's just a joyous occasion. And I get kind of sad because I feel like I might, like I'm slowing down obviously because I am more busy with school. I'm not posting like every two days like I was during the summer. So now I'm worried it's not gonna be enough again. 
and I just need to remember that I'm not doing this for statistics or whatever. I'm doing it because I really like to do it. And I think when you truly like to do something, other people will recognize that and they'll like it too, which is what I think happened on my YouTube channel this summer. So I just love that so much. And I use this entire can of frosting as I talk about that. Yummy. Yeah, I don't know, that's my sob story, but I am just happy to be here, happy to have a platform, happy to talk to you guys, happy for 300 subs. So let's get to frosting the top of this cake. I'm thinking this way. All right, I got the 300. Next, spelled subs. So I can't use that much room. Okay, I'm subs. I'm also gonna make this S while I'm here, just so I make sure I have enough room. U, B. Yay, 300 subs. Thank you guys so much. I am incredibly grateful for every one of you. I suppose I could try a little. I'll try this little corner over. I'll try this corner. There's like nothing here. It's mostly gonna be like all frosting. Cheers. That's so good. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you for subscribing. I love each and every single one of you.